Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. Let's talk about it real quick. The heart beats just a little faster right now, doesn't it? They stand alone right now. No cornerback. They're just ready to make the ring walk for the biggest fight that boxing can make. Welcome back, everybody. This is Shadow Ghost with another video, and this will be a quick video because basically what I'm doing is just talking about a preview. This will be an early preview of a fight that will take place on March 20th, live on the zone at the Dickies Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker. Virgil Ortiz, 16 and 0 with 16 KOs. Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker, 27 and 1 with 19 KOs. This will be a clash in a 12 round fight for the vacant WBO International Welterweight title live on the zone worldwide. This is going to be a fan-friendly fight. If you don't know who Maurice Hooker is, he fought Jose Ramirez at the 140-pound weight division. They both put their titles on the line, and that fight was back and forth. And it was a great fight until Jose Ramirez caught Maurice Hooker, and, and he finished him. But the reason why that I, I like this fight is because uh, Maurice Hooker, he's tall. He's got, uh, I think he has the longer reach. He has a great jab. And from what we saw in the Jose Ramirez fight, this is a guy that can do it all, man. I mean, he could fight in the phone booth. He could fight from the outside. He could fight mid-range. I mean, when Jose Ramirez, when he was trying to bring it to him and he brought it to him in a phone booth, I mean, he was doing that too. When he backed him up, he was fighting backing up. He was doing everything. And this is why I think this is going to be a great test for Virgil Ortiz Jr. Virgil Ortiz Jr., on the other hand, uh, is a prospect under Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, who is the CEO. And he's 16-0 with 16 KOs. Everybody they've lined up, he's put, them, he's put them out. I think his last fight was against Samuel Vargas. And you can look at the highlights. You can look that up on YouTube. And if you want to look at the definition of a beatdown, just look that up. I mean, and shout out to Samuel Vargas. I mean, he was getting pounded and pounded and pounded. I mean, he took it like a warrior. Most people would have been knocked out or whatever. I don't know why they didn't throw the towel in sooner, but that, but I mean, they eventually did and it is what it is, but that was a great fight. But like I said, you can look up that fight and you'll see what type of fight this is going to be. Also look up the Jose Ramirez and Maurice Hooker fight and you'll see what type of fight Maurice Hooker is. This is going to be, both of these guys are Dallas natives. So that's another thing that I, that's going to be kind of interesting because usually when they fight or when fighters fight there's usually like a home crowd advantage or maybe they're they're in an area where maybe one person has more fans well they're both from texas so i wonder how this is gonna go i wonder if the fans are gonna not like this really matters this isn't like the the nfl or the nba where people well, i mean well you know what in sports people do feed off fans so i just you know i, I wonder how it's gonna go maybe, maybe it'll be back and forth some people will be cheering for maurice some people will be cheering for virgil but this is going to be a good fight, man. This is going to be an action-packed fight. You know, Maurice Hooker is moving up from 140 to 147. So that's one point. That's one thing that we should be looking out for because this is where... And I, I made a video earlier today. And if not, you need to go look at it. It was basically about uh, Javante Tank Davis. And he said that he was uh, he's not fighting at 130 or 135 so where's he going 140 or 126 and it was talking about when you move up in weight all the advantages that you had in the lower weight classes are now gone if not then they're equally matched now so here goes the thing see maurice hooker uh back at he he's a tall and lengthy guy but now he's moving up to 147 so any advantages that he had with him in 140 is now going to be it's kind of diminishing a little bit so because now he's fighting virgil ortiz who is a natural 147 pounder who hits hard. Every shot he throws is with power. But like I said, Maurice Hooker, he can fight from the outside. He can fight from the mid range. He can fight with the phone booth. I mean, hey, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. This is what I think is going to happen. I think in the early rounds, I think Hooker's going to keep him off with the jab. I think Ortiz is going to be a little cautious because this is kind of like his breakout fight. But I think as the fight goes on, Ortiz is going to realize that, hey, he can't knock me out, and he's going to really, he's going to, he's going to turn it up. And I think that's what a lot of fighters do. I mean, it, it, it's kind of common. You know, the first couple of rounds are feel-out rounds, and then as they turn it up, one fighter notices, okay, well, I've taken his best shot. Somebody usually gets wobbled a little bit or whatever, but after the fight goes on, you get, you get used to getting hit. And your chin, that's where it comes in. Your chin becomes a factor, 
And I think that that's where and that's where Maurice Hooker ran into problems with Jose Ramirez. He got caught. He got caught. And when he got caught, he got finished. But like I said, just because you're moving up to the 147 pound division does not mean that your attributes that you're naturally gifted with is still not going to be a factor. He still has a great jab. He still can fight from the outside. He can fight from the inside. He can fight mid range. He could do phone booth. He could fight going backwards. This is why this is going to be a great fight. So I think as this fight draws closer, you're going to see a lot of coverage on this, especially since Canelo left uh, Golden Boy. And I think that uh, Oscar De La Hoya is definitely going to want to put a lot of coverage on this since now you have Ryan Garcia and he's probably going to want to raise Virgil Ortiz up a little bit uh, in, in, in this company. But I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think or say. And please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And until next time, this is Shadow Ghost and I'm out. <laughs>